Hi guys, welcome to Filament PHP series and in this series we are going to learn all the form elements and how to use it. So in my previous video I already show you uh, about the post uh, module. So let me go to my VS editor, VS Code editor and you can see over here there is a post table with titles, slug, category, color and all the fields we taken. So now let me create a new resource for it. So let me go here and let me go and I will just run php artisan mac filament resource and resource we will create for post and hit enter and it will ask for a model attribute so i will keep uh, i think title not name because we have a title column okay and then you can see that uh, read only page that we already know required and also it should be not automatically get from the database so just know and now let me go back to the vs code editor and you can see over here inside the filament there is another folder we have created you can see that post and there is a post resource over here they have also added the post uh, model now let me go and go to the admin panel and just hit refresh there is a new module over here added that's called post hit enter and if i click on new post there is nothing right now so let me go here and let's create the form so go to the schema and post form here text input and i will take for title and just save it and same thing i will do for slug because both are uh, text input just save it okay let me go back and just refresh you can see that title and slug column is there okay now uh, next i am going to use the select because uh, there is a category id we have taken so i'm going to just use select mac and then i will use category underscore id okay because we have taken the text input but this is the select but that should be the option so what there is another method is option and you can pass the array like this a1 and to something like that and just save it okay and let me go here and just hit refresh you can see that there is a category underscore id uh, drop down added with one and two so this is just like basic drop down but what if you want to get these categories for example php laravel python that you created so what you need to do just remove this and you need to get all the categories from the model like all and then I will use the block method and give the first argument name as a value and ID will be sorry uh, name will be label and ID will be value just save it let me go and just create and hit over here so you can see that there is a PHP Laravel and Python that category dynamics comes over here okay and one more thing you can see that there is just category ID so that labels automatically get by filament like this so if you want to change that there is another method that's called label okay and you can give like for example I'm going to just say category save it and just let me go and refresh you can see that choose category so that means uh, this is the label method that you can use it and next we have taken the field that's called color so we can use the color picker for it and in filament you don't have to do so many things just you have to say color picker okay and just mac color like this and just save it okay and let me go and hit refresh you will say there is a color and you can see that you can choose the color as well and there is automatically great design uh, given by filament so this is really awesome so the next field let's uh, let me add is body so let me go and here we need to add rich text box so just uh, they already provide the rich editor and just mac body and just save it okay and let's see how it looks just refresh you can see that there is a bold option italic option underline so that's really awesome rich text box they have added and also they have added like markdown editor markdown editor like this and just save it okay and let me go here and hit refresh you can see that they have just minimal option but that all required so you can use rich text box otherwise you can use the markdown but for now we use just markdown for body and then i'm going to add for file upload i'm going to use the for image you can see over here there is an image column 
I'm going to add file upload okay like this okay and just I'm going to say my Mac image and then next argument we need to give by default they have already upload on public area disk but you can change the disk as well using the disk function like this okay and you can provide the as three or whatever your uh, uh, disk but here I'm going to just say public disk okay and one more thing when you choose the file you can also choose the directory which directory that should be go so I'm just going to directory method and we are going to create new directory called post and just save it okay so this means this is for file upload and if I go here you can see that how it looks okay and if I choose the image let me go here and I'm going to choose any image yeah and you can see that it's uploading over here 98 it's completed so it looks awesome okay make sure we are running our application localhost 8000 so let me go here and inside my env so let me go to make sure your app url should be the same so then it will be work because right now it's working perfectly fine because of my uh, uh, url are same okay and now let me go to the storage apps and public and you will get the image over here okay so just wait and let me go here and again let me add another fields that call tags okay so that we also require tags input for it so let me go here and uh, tags input mac tags and just save it okay and now let me go and just refresh you can see over here tag for example you can see level 12 and you can see that level 11 you can see that it looks really awesome for the tag so this is for the tags input okay and now let me go back and let me add the checkbox for it's published or not so i'm going to use just checkbox like this mac published and just save it and let me go here and there is very simple checkbox over here added that checked okay you can see that same way i'm going to add published underscore add uh, where user can choose the date so i'm going to use just uh, that picker for it so that picker okay and mac published underscore add and just save it okay and now let me go back hit refresh you can see that here is the date you can see so this was very basic and usually we are using this all the uh, input if you if you want to add some more inputs you can go to the documentation and there is a form over here and you can see that how to use the radio button okay and if i go to the text input you can see that how easily you can use like email field and if you you can add like numeric for example if you say just like title with numeric like this and just save it and if i go here and hit refresh you will see there is only numeric by default added so that means you can use that all the elements over here okay i'm not going to cover all the elements in this video but just basic elements that we require for example you can use the slider like this you can see the range slider okay so what we done over here that usually we are using that uh, input so let me go and just roll back this remove this and just save it okay and hit refresh okay i'm going to just use the like first post okay and first post okay and i'm going to choose the category laravel and color i'm going to choose and body will be test body and i'm going to choose the image And it's uploading and just I will add and I will make it published and then I'm going to choose the date as well and let me click on create you can see that post is created over here and let me go back to the post you can see that there is a post created let me go back to the post um, over here hit refresh in my table click on post you can see that there is a one post created and you can see that inside the image url as well over here now let me go back to vs code editor and just go to the storage and you can see that inside the post folder there is an image added over here so that means it is working perfectly fine now let me go here and if i refresh it you can see that here also we need to display it 
so how can we display the all the data over there so let me go table post table and here i'm going to add like text column mac title and same way i'm going to do for slug save it and now let me go back over here and hit refresh you can see that title and slug same way i am going to display the category and category how can we get because i can directly get category underscore id like this and if i go here because in the same table they are adding the category id too but what if you want to display from the uh, relationship because we already add the relationship over here so just copy that category and category dot column name so just save it okay if i go here and just refresh it you can see that category name display over here same way i can use the color column make color field just save it and now hit refresh you can see that what color we choose that displaying over here properly i also want to display the image so how can i do that so just i'm going to just say image column mac image column okay just save it because we have uh, field name is image hit refresh you can see that but here we don't have an image why because we need to define the disk so disk will be public okay save because we have stored this image to the public and just hit refresh even it's not going to display the image why because let me go here and we need to run php artisan storage link because we haven't linked the folder so let me go here refresh it you can see that now my image is coming over here if i go here you can see that over here also it's display so that means this is very basic and simple example of the all the elements that usually we are using for the preform creation so that fields i have display if you want to do like research more fields uh, filaments also provide like hidden fields and custom fields so you can just take a look the documentation if you don't understand you can comment me so i will create the separate video for it so if you like this video then share with your friends and don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel for more videos about laravel Thank you for watching guys.